Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. So today we are going to do a bit of draconian evolution and some power. So let's get started. So before we start with those two things, let's have a look at this. I've got this um, trinket here. It's a broken heart, fourth piece, and he gives me two extra hearts. So let's right click this and learn that. And then we need to uh, add another trinket slot. So let's do that and add it into here. Unlock this one, 30 levels, so it's getting sort of expensive. We'll add in this one. I've got a few more I can add. This will now be 33 XP, huh? So there we go, three, three each time it goes up. So that's that one. But I also went to the end and defeated the end dragon. And I got these bits and pieces from the end. So I've got some eight dragon scales. The usage of dragon scales are basically to make uh, dragon crooks, um, egg crooks, and also a, a seed. So we need four for the seed and four for the crooks. Back the seed, if I'm not mistaken, if you look at the uses of that, we can put this in a botany pot too. It's probably it's probably a tier five seed because I think it was insanium essence. But we can either put it into a botany pot or we can put it under with a onto normal ground with a dragon egg crooks on top of it. The trouble with this one, of course, is it doesn't self harvest, so you're probably better with the other one. Maybe fast that would be seed reprocessing. No, no, not seed reprocessing. Oh, ultimate crafting. <laughs> wow, that looks expensive. What does that make? Creative essence. Oh, fantastic. I don't know what you, oh, I don't know what you did with creative essence, but it looks like it's expensive. So uh, there were the other bits in here were uh, some ender shards from better end, some flavorite from better end, and some thelysium oil from better end. Those are basically all better end stuff. We've got iron bars from breaking the um, protection around the, the um, end. Uh, the end crystals and i got some dragon's breath which is actually the most dangerous part of the particular trip some air end air bottles basically end air bottles is right clicking air in the end whereas <laughs> intending to get the dragon breath you get those some dimensional shards from rf tools base uh, a dragon heart from dragon evolution and an epic shader grab from immersive engineering uh, which i'm probably not going to ever use but you know they're there we got some dragon skills too Oh, I think we actually got something else. I've forgotten where it is. Or maybe I missed it. I'm going to go probably to the nether and prepare some more grinding over there. I thought I got, um... Oh, no, I, don't, I haven't got that yet. All right, okay, because I had to do this episode again. Because <laughs> the last one was rubbish. <laughs> so here we have... Let's start with this one. This is the advanced energy cell from um, Mechanism. This will store 6 million F... I mean, the reason I want to do this, and I actually want to do the next one as well, but first of all, we need to go and get these. I have got some in here. I've got some. Uh, no, actually, I haven't got any, but I think they're probably in, in here. Yes, I've got some reinforced alloy. So reinforced alloy is basically you get four of those with one of these uh, enriched diamonds. And an enriched diamond is basically a, a diamond in the enrichment chamber, which gives you four, 80 uh, milli buckets of diamond essence or whatever we call it plus this will make these reinforced alloys very straightforward nothing complicated at all as you can see we need four for the next level so we're going to use these four to make the next tier of uh, so if i look for the uses of the advanced alloy probably we should, should be able to see it straight away and get that one in i'd already prepared the other bits just tablets and gold so this one that holds 25 million fe which is a really good amount of power to start with, especially for draconian evolution. I think everything needs a, in the millions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along here and I'm going to put this one on top of this. Let it slowly charge up, I think. Oops, the other right button is. So this is now charging up, I hope. Yes, it is good. So this is this process here is taking from here some wheat, which is going into the uh, crusher. The crushers and transferring that into this hopper here, which is in turn making power in the biogenerator. And hopefully at the same time, this is actually using power up. It is fantastic. So the solar gen advanced solar panel is also producing power into this network. So over time that will charge up. I don't really, we've got lots to do, so it doesn't matter that it's slow. Next thing is here. We need to make this uh, diuretic paste for power. So if we have a look in the book, I mean, the, the book's in the Akashic Tome. So we've got 
these different items in here. Ideally, what I would like to probably make is a reactor, but we've got solar panels, we've got thermo generators, which are basically lava based. Uh, magnetos, I've forgotten what those are to be honest. This one's basically just furnaces. And you've got five different levels of furnaces. So you need this dielectric paste, you need these dielectric casings and these capacitors, plus a furnace to make one of these starter ones. The next one up is the basic, which is then using more basic capacitors uh, and the previous furnace, plus another casing furnace. And then you've got this one, energized steel. We'll have to do that. I don't know how to do that because I've not done it yet. So what we need to do is we need to build some of these and we also need to build some maybe some storage and certainly some cables. Cables also come in different tiers. I think they've got five different tiers. Starter, basic, hardened, blazing, necrotic, spirited and nitro, seven different layers of, uh, of cables. So that's lots of things to upgrade. So now we can actually start doing that. So this was dielectric paste. You get 16 from each one. There is a different recipe for this. Didn't look at that, should have done. And this is this one we use. Instead of using one blaze powder, you're using, well, actually, I suspect this is actually slightly cheaper on clay. One more charcoal, one more clay, plus a bucket of lava will give you 24. You can also get them in loot chests in the white barrel, which is not very guaranteed and not very reliable. And then we can, from those, we can make these dielectric rod, rods like this, make 24 of those. And we can put, say, let's, let's split those into three, and put those in here, and then it will make vertical ones. So you get dielectric rods, vertical and horizontal. And I guess that if you put it back again, it'll actually make a horizontal one. Yes, it does. So if you've got any of those you need, you can easily convert them. Here we can make some uh, basic capacitors from power, which was, well, that was a bit too quick, but it was redstone block, iron ingots, and uh, these paste in here all makes that stuff up. So that is the end of that bit, but we need to make the furno to up. I think that was the word I was looking for. I'll try and pronounce that properly. We needed a furnace for that, didn't we? So a furnace we should have in here. So let's have a look at the uses, for example, of this dielectric rod here. Oh, I said you've got five pages of that. So these basically make cables. And as you saw, we did this one. That's blazing necrotic nitro. Oops, too fast. This is blank card basic cables. And I think this should be the energy cable basic. Hold on, did I make energy cable basic? I'm not quite sure what the difference. Oh, those are starters. We should make this one up first. And I'm missing one of these basic tiny capacitors. So we can make one of those up. It's just splitting up a normal capacitor. And then I'll look at the uses of this. We should get that. Well, actually, not so easy. I was expecting it to be less recipes than this, but we are. So this was the recipe. 12 energy cable starters. So let's just click that in. Hopefully, I could actually make 12. Let's make 12. So that's a quest completed. In fact, thinking about it, I have a lot of quests already completed. But let's have a look at the power ones, first of all. Miscellaneous power. So we've created this basic cable here. And we get a random reward for that, which is a flux storage from... Actually, that's quite good. We don't need that at the moment. That's a different, that's a different way of transferring power about. We got this battery from just a reward and so we also got these energy hoppers and energizing rods from rewards as well uh and what else have we got to make in here an end cell player transmitter i don't know what that does energy discharge at reactor i'd like to get up to reactors i guess that this is where we've got to start from what's the recipe for this one so the blazing we will need the very lowest level which is probably starter Second one down. Okay, so that's one bucket. The trilogic paste, and that will then give this, this one. Let's let's do see if we can actually build that one. <laughs> so how did I do that one? I've forgotten already. Let's have a look at power. So we needed energy cell start. We probably need one of these anyway. That will store power. So we're missing these tiny capacitors again so we need we need two of those 
need four of those for that particular one, so let's do that. Normally these, these things always go through the same process. If you use the previous one to upgrade the last one, and this casing, we can make up a casing. In fact, we probably should make up more than one casing. Let's have a look. Um, how many of these we can make up? Doesn't look like I can make up too many, but I'll maybe just take two of these out and then convert those to the horizontal ones, and then we've got four of each. So we should be able to make another one of these up. I wish you could make two. I think that's probably a good number to make up as it happens. Um, so we should now be able to make this up. I'm using a lot of iron, as you can see, basic energy, but we need the next thing up, which is the, the furnace, the furnator. This is this one here. So this is made up with, oh, probably all, oh, we haven't got these tiny capacitors anymore. Let's make up another two of these. <laughs> a lot of these crafting loops we're going through. So where's that one gone to? That was here. This is actually a mod I've never played with before, so it's an interesting mod for me. I've got two of these basic flux storage. They are part of um, flux networks, I think. Yes. Oh, should we got four of those now so as rewards, which is quite good. So now we should be able to, we've got cables, we've got cables. We need I think we need energizers as well. These things here, energizing rods. So we need another one of these, which I probably haven't got any more, so we can make some of these. Oh, we can make eight of these with this particular recipe. And I have got plenty and plenty of um because I was in the end and I am breaking those things up, gave quite a few of these iron bars, so let's use those up. So I was like, I wanted to make the basic energizer. But I don't actually need to make these because we've already got them. As, uh, we've already got some of these. An engine orb, we can also make. <clears throat> I think we've actually got these as reward. So let's just have a look because I did put some stuff into here. So we did get, I've already made that up, paste. Uh, the energizer starter hopper was fine. Dielectric rods and these energizer starters and this battery, which we've got as rewards for different things. But we can make all of that stuff now, I reckon, so there's no big deal. We can actually use this one. Maybe not the, the basic one, yes, dead easy to do because we use the recipe for the basic one. It's using the starter plus a block of quartz. And I think we even have starter ones as well. Yeah. There we've got the starter on the recipe for this one. Was well, just what we saw just a minute ago. So we can actually make this one no problem. And I think there's another layer up in this collection of bits and pieces I picked up. Let's just sort that. Basic, basic starter. I know. There is definitely one I've got a blazing something or other for, but I, not a casing. I don't see it at the moment. That was a hardened battery. Anyway, let's set it up and see how this works. I have up built an area upstairs. Now, as you can see, I've come along here and expanded this area out. So let's just let's just use this area here. I also built a little house. Oh. <laughs> My typical design's really rotten. <laughs> so here we are. Let's have a look at this. So we need energy cell. The furnator. Now this will be this will be the thing that produces power from coal, I guess. Yeah, we got something to put in it here, and then we've got facing, and then we've got redstone, and then we've got power. I didn't bring any any fuel with me. Just go and get some fuel on your back in a second. Well, I've got some charcoal. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, it seems to be producing some energy here. It generates fifteen Fe per tick. It's not very much as it happens, <laughs> so hopefully we can get better than that. So we then presumably we can connect these cables to it. Uh, it might even have a wrench as an energy cable starter. So we can then just bring these down like this. And I guess that we can also put onto these a, the um, energy cell starter. So let's put the energy cell in between. This probably is a good place to do. I guess we can break this fairly easily. That picket, that picket is actually amazing, so it's pretty good. So this is now getting power into it. Yeah, it is fantastic. It does have 
configurations in here. So I guess you can charge it up from whichever side. So this presumably has got power. So now we come along here and put onto this these these rods, I think. I'm not sure what the hopper does. I thought we had something else. I thought I had a, another one of these energy rod things. This is an energy rod start. Let's take one of the basic ones in here. And I think we just put this down. I'm not sure if it goes like, oh, it goes either like that or like this. Let's just, I'm not sure which way around these work. So that we'll find that. Oh, it's getting power in it. You can see stored power, stored power. Good. So the next thing is we have to make, do something with this. So let's have a look at the book. So presumably it's got a way of telling us how to do functional blocks. Energizer. Okay, so I do need, like, so this is what we do with these. We need an energizer. So let's go down and make an energizer. Well, this, will, this is a way to get make energized steel. I moved my thing so it comes out here. Uh, my teleporter. So the energizer, let's have a look if we can see the energizer. I saw an energizer as an energizing orb. It's probably got multiple levels. Energizer. Can't see it, let's just type it in. Energizing orb. I don't think that's one I forgot to hear. Energy hoppers. Energy chargers, different levels, lots of that one. Is it this, is it this one? It looks like an energizing orb, doesn't it? So we need three more of these. Let's make these up. And then we need, and then we need to make this energized steel, I guess. So we, once we've got this, we can then put this onto this orb. So we need gold and iron, which will make two. So let's go and make some of these, and then we'll eventually make the seed because it, it's quite handy to have a seed at the same time. So we've got four of those, only five. Actually, we've got blo blocks of iron there. So let's go and try this one. Um, see if this works. I don't know how much, how much this is used up. Actually, not very much. So it seems to be fairly efficient in its use of charcoal. That's good. So if I put this orb down, uh, let's put it down somewhere like this. And then we have to put it, do we, can we right click this? No, I'm doing something wrong. Did I not do this right? Let's go back to the book. So this is the, oh, energizing orb. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so you put something on top of it. Okay, um, and it requires at least one energizing rod in a range of nine bands. And we've got that, no problem. Energizing depends on the amount of it. Okay, so I presume we have to put something into this, first of all. How do we make that steel? Let's go back. So it just tells us about the different types of rods that we can we can make here. And this one, oh, it'll automatically, you can use the wrench. So it has a wrench as well. So let's go and do that. It, <laughs> phew, it's raining. I'll go inside. <laughs> so actually to make this one, how did we do this? It was with the energizer. Energizing orb. Yeah, that's right. And power of these. Oh, maybe you have to put two on there. I guess that's what you have to do. So what did we need to do? Um, to get this to work. I think that was probably about it. Actually, it's night time. I'll have a quick sleep and come back in a second. I, to, I wanted to make the wrench, didn't I? We should be able to make that, no problem. So we've got now a wrench from power. That's good. So I think we've got all the bits we need. Let's go and so I need another bit of ironing. Get, I've just lost one. So let's take one of these out of here and craft that. That should be enough. So let's go back upstairs and see if we can get this to energize some steel so what do I do in here well, I guess we're going to put in here some gold and some iron let's move those out for the way oh yeah that works fine and you see this is actually working I don't have to do anything whatsoever so it's actually working fantastic and we've got our first energized gold so we should right click that 
it comes out good, just as you would expect. And we can let the others go on. So this will go faster, I guess, if we have more. That's got no power in it. These have done again. So that's run out of power altogether because it's not producing anyone. And this one's still working. So it, I see it's going up to 10k. It needs 10k of power. I presume this one's got no power in it because it's run out. It doesn't take too long to do this, as you can see. Even in this low level, we've got the energized steel. So now we have a way of producing power. I'm going to do more work between episodes on this because I, I, I guess the more of these we use, oh, she gave us two per thing, so we can actually make the seed uses of this. Uh, okay, so the Imperium, so it's tier 3, 4, tier 4, isn't it? I would actually like to make a tier 6 seed next, in fact. And what I'd like to make is the Wither Seed. So this is where we're coming along here. The reason for this, I have got the recipe here for a, a Draconian Core. I want to take one of those. Actually, because I've got in here a recipe for 8 of these basic infusion crafting injectors. This is Draconium Evolution, and I would like to do this as actually a quest. And then we need the fusion crafting. So that's one of these draconian cores which I just made. We've actually made these up before. Uh, lots of lapis and diamonds. Nothing really just really difficult at this stage of the game. So we can do that. And then we want to go and make the wither. So we need from this some blank skulls like that. And then in the blank skulls we can put those into here like that. And then we can make some wither skeleton skulls like that. We've got 15 of that. And then we can go in front spooky scary skeleton I've got because I've got the skulls <laughs> even though I made them myself <laughs> and the next one is the soul sand we need some soul sand which is I've forgotten the recipe for soul sand I think it's simply a nether essence we've got plenty of nether essence in here as you can see and plenty of seeds um, we probably need a Tack. My inventory is looking horribly full. And then we'll probably need some fire essence, I think is the one we use for this particular one. So for that we would need eight. I'll just double check it actually. Let's look at the uses of that. Soul sand, yeah exactly. Another essence of fire essence makes salt sand. I have another hat by the way, it's a cat standing on its head. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex is gone today, so let's look at the use of that one then. A lot of uses, as you can see, but the one we want is the last page, of course, so we can make up, that's probably too many, eight sixteens, two stacks, I'll take the two stacks, I'll put one of them away, and then we've got enough now to go and actually do the end, uh, to go and do the, the wither, we'll go and do the wither, if I've got time. I would actually also like to set up this Deconium evolution stuff crafting. I'll at least show you how it's going to, how it's going to be done. Oh, and I'm going to put it down. I'm running out of space here to be done as well. I should have moved these back a bit. So let's come along here, and I I would like to put the first one here. So we, it's basically going to look like this. You go back a bit here, and you put down these three like that, and then two blocks away from that. So you've got to have a gap of two. We then put the, the crafting, um, fusion craft, oh, wrong one. Just break that up. The, the crafting core. In fact, it'll tell you, it says it's actually got a recipe in here, but it's got nothing in it, that's fine. So we then put down, you can have eight, we can have up to 12 of these around here, but we need, space is a problem like that, but they've got to be two blocks back. Now I've made eight. So I just need to connect these now to power. And uh, what I've got for power, I don't think I've got it in here. So I've got some power down back here. Um, and the idea is that to charge up that thing, uh, to charge up that power thing was actually the reason for doing. I've got 40, 40 of these. So let's go and put those in here. Should have taken myself a chest with me, shouldn't I? So these will connect in. I'm not completely convinced they work, but we'll see. 
the reason I'll, I'll show you that in a minute why I don't think they're working because I did do, do some try to do some testing on this because the idea of all of this business work, this current project is to make um, upgrade the sluice and the mesh to being blazing variety so here we've got this can we connect this in here this has got 7 million FE in here that's fantastic let's just come along here and connect this into here so if there were any more that we would need to put they would need to go here so we can put stuff I'll bring it across the top and take it down like that so now for example what we can then do here is we can have a look at this is it giving power out and it won't give power out until I actually configure it and I've got to be careful about breaking things down like this I don't want to configure this one that's the wrench is here isn't it Let's have a look. take that one off and, and it's this one actually got no it's not being set for output yet so this is now set for output but it hasn't got any power in here yet because we need to configure this and so this is the front side if I remember correctly when I put it down so we have to configure the sides oh front is actually output <laughs> fantastic so this pipe should have some power in it it's hard to see whether it has but I know that these have got no power in here like this and the one we want to do was the whole purpose of this as I said we need power for this for the fusion crafting to work that's why that's why i'm doing the power stuff if you hadn't guessed um but at draconium evolution we want to have a look at meshes for example we would like to use the empowered sluice now the powered sluice is quicker than netherite sluice but holds more fluid and it can accept a blazing mesh so the idea is to make the blazing mesh but the recipe for this it's actually not that expensive. Blazing rods and uh, some mana infused strings, just mana string in a mana pool. But this tier is draconic, so we have to go for draconic evolution and have a look for that. It's the same for the mesh, uh, for this for the sluice. Sorry, and this is just blocks. Now the right ingots, block a layer. There's none of these ingredients are difficult for us now. So let's go and have a look at draconium evolution to see what we have to do to get up to the draconic level. So, for example, at the moment we're in doing the infusers. I'm just trying to see if I can see them. It's a bit mixed up. There's a lot of tools in here, as you can see, and the and the Reaper enchant is also provided by this. So here we've got basic infusion. Then we need wyvern infusion crafting ejectors, and then the last one here is draconic, and then the very last one's chaotic. So we've I've, we've built those. This one, the next one is we need four diamonds one wyvern core two draconic cores and uh some block of block of draconium that's no big deal either as it happens the wyvern core is basically one nether star plus four of these will make one, one wyvern core so that's, so that's what we need to do next in order to upgrade these cra crafting injectors the one after that is similar just using more wyvern cores more diamonds but awaken draconium block we have to make the awakened draconium block, which is also made in here with draconium blocks, uh, draconic cores, and this dragon heart, which we've got the dragon heart for. So once we've got four of those, we're going to make a seed because that's basically we don't, don't need to make any more dragon hearts for that. We've basically been going around and killing the ender dragon again. So <clears throat> so that means we've got to go to and get the another star. Um, so let's just have a quick look. So I'm going to do that in the end. So let's go upstairs. Let's go to the end because we haven't been here yet. And it's just, an, it was very straightforward. So this, this is the dimensional shards here. There's nothing complicated about this. It was just a standard end. We just need to go to the, uh, we get a few bits and pieces which so need to come out here and go to the, to the portal. I wanted to go underneath the portal and make a hole. Uh, so the portal's just here. So I'll do that and I'll come back in a second. 
So it's prepared. Basically, this block has to be at zero, zero, zero. So let's just take, checking on the minimap, we're at zero, zero. Uh, zero, of course, is 58 is the height. That's fine. It's two blocks. Is this an air block of two? So let's just see if this works. It should do. So I'll put down the. Um, we'll do it this way. Of course, this is one of the, the newer things. In fact, I probably should make some more space here because it looks a bit cramped. So let's just do that. And then we can get out up here. So we need to get out. So we should make a space up here to get out. So we can basically just run away when we've, when we've assembled the, the wither. That'll do. So here we've got the head in. Now we can put the heads on. I've actually got a few tools in here. There's probably too many as it happens. Um, this is probably my most effective weapon, the refined obsidian paxel. So we're going to use that one. So let's just put these on. Okay, get out of the way. And what you should see is you should see his head appearing here in in the middle of the portal, of the middle of the end stone here, when he actually does it. Right, you can't see him yet because he's not he's not there. But he's as soon as we hit him like that, he'll move up a bit. And if you go and have a look at him now, let's shout a bit maybe, you'll see that his head is here in the middle, so he can't get out. So we can simply just uh, hit him until he dies, <laughs> which isn't very long as it happens. Okay. So that's our first. I've got no space left in my inventory because I saw something sitting on the ground. Then let's just pick that up. Put that down. We'll pick it up again in a minute. So we just need to. Oh, so I've got what I wanted to get as well. Um, where's that? Where's that backpack on? I didn't pick up the backpack. Okay, let's do it like this. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. Uh, I'm actually running out of time a bit here, but it doesn't matter that much. We'll carry on. We've got plenty of endstone. You see, we've got the first another step. We've got one of these. We've now got one space freed, so that's fine. So we can then do this again. I shall do this about another. I've got, f I can make five, can't I? Uh, there's also some uh, ore here, draconian ore, and I think I can mine that up with my, I've got a silk touch bronze pickaxe, which will do diamond level. And I think this will work on here, let's just see. Oh, I've changed one thing. I changed this to being, uh, I'll do control and press the graph shift and then change this to being shapeless again, otherwise it won't work. So let's just shapelessly mine this up like that. In fact, actually it was four. So that's good. Um, I still got space. Oh, we actually got eight. Whoops, that's actually quite good. So now let's carry on with this. I'll, I'll see you in a minute when I've done these five. So I got I got five nether stars. Actually, that's probably enough now to make a seed. In fact, let's have a look at use of these. We should be able to make the seed with uh, insanium essence. Four nether stars. That's not too difficult. Well, not too difficult. This one's actually quite hard. I've got enough now to make 17. I haven't quite got enough for the for the earth. I need the earth as well. So what I'm going to do between episodes is to get some more supreme, make some insane emissions. And let's make the insane emissions so we can actually make. Um, I'm just suffering a little bit from space in here. But let's just put those two up there. And let's make the insane essence so that we've done that on camera. And then it's time to go. Uh, so then it's time to finish the episode. So we can get four of those, which is what we need for the seed. In fact, we can actually make the seed as it happens because we've got enough material to do that. Let's just do that then. And then the last thing I need to do is to make some insanium farmland, which is just as we've done before. So there's no special special things on that one. So what I forgot in here, insanium. Let's put these four down. Let's put down the prosperity base and let's put down the nether stars. Three, four, and press the button. Of course, this will complete a quest reward. In fact, next time I'm going to start by doing all the quest rewards. There we go. And we've got the nether star seeds. So I need to put those in the botany pot somewhere about, it's probably in here. So for the time being, I'm going to put this into here and then we need to get, we've got one nether star left which means that we can make our first, oh, hello, <laughs> uh, trader hand. How did he get down here? And it doesn't matter very much. 
So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.